Okay, you guys, so we drove all the way here to Port Royal to the museum to go take a tour. Uh, we were just planning on walking in and we were told that it's closed due to COVID. We can't really do much anymore. So we're just, you know, taking some pictures and then head on out. So sorry, you guys, I was so looking forward to all this. Okay, so you guys, we planned a road trip and we were gonna stay at hotels at night because we only have a few hours during the daytime. And to my amazement, there were numerous closures of tourist attractions and accommodations. I made reservations online on one of my favorite um, travel sites, which I'll be putting in the description box down below. And I was so happy to be informed that all the hosts, whether it's Airbnb, guest houses or hotels, these places were adhering to sanitation protocols and following health guidelines set forth by the Ministry of Health. However, on arrival to the museum here in Fort Charles in Port Royal, Kingston in the island's capital, it was closed along with a very popular hotel, the Courtly, that was undergoing construction when we arrived last night. I had to go next door to another hotel that luckily had accommodations. Stay tuned for that video. I'll be sharing my experiences at the Pegasus Hotel in Kingston. My next stop was the newly renovated Main Street Jamaica, formerly known as the Shops at Rose Hall in Montego Bay. It's still going some it's still undergoing some minor repairs and renovation but it's like a ghost town due to the impact covid has on tourism and the decrease in the number of visitors on the island only a few shops were open and there was no one in sight except for the workers renovating the property i must say that i'm excited to see when things are up and running again and you know there will be new vendors so it's all excitement y'all i just can't wait Yes, you guys, my next stop was Baby Shopping Center in Mobile, and you can see everyone adhering to the social distancing rule. While they waited to enter a restaurant near the infamous Fontana Pharmacy, you can take a look around, see everyone keeping their distance while they wait to go inside the restaurant to place their order. And I'm um, also now at my favorite, most favorite place to be, which is the Falmouth Fishing Village in Falmouth, Trelawney. I go there to get my fresh catch every time. And it was nice this evening to see someone actually water skiing. And I also found someone who was making the net that they use to go fishing. He has informed me that he is using 100 pounds of net and as you can see you guys it took so much detail and precision i was told it's also very expensive to source the net and as you can see it is also a pain to work with because as you see on the ground it collects all the leaves and um net making it's you know it has to be you have to it's a honed craft like you have to hone your skill and he makes it look so effortless you know and you need space in order to string and use your tools to get it all done well you guys i hope you enjoyed this video and you learned a thing or two as always give me a thumbs up for my newbies, please, please remember to subscribe. My returning subscribers, don't forget to like, comment, share. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.